Here's my Volvo D5 engine that I pulled out of my XC70 after it suffered a catastrophic failure as a result of the accessory belt getting eaten and running in through here, causing all sorts of dramas. Um, all the timing stuff was changed recently, so that's all pretty close to new. You can see by the water pump, brand new. But when the belt fails, it runs in through here. And then it gets pulled in through here, and then your timing skips. Once that happens, you end up with this shit. Can't really see, but... So those rockers aren't attached to anything. They're smashed off in the head. So I imagine that there's going to be a bit of damage from where the valves have hit the pistons. And I'm going to pull it apart and have a look-see. Alright. Okay, chipping away at it. I'm getting all of the crap out of the way so I can start pulling the head off. Just pulling off things like your oil filter housing, air conditioning, whatever all this crap is. All of the stuff was working fine. It's only the belt that stopped it, so. Also come around here, started to prepare for the turbo removal. This is the twin turbo compound setup on this one. So I just stopped the video here because I thought this was interesting. These are finger tight. Very odd. I don't know what the what the ten mil ones are like yet. I haven't started on those, but I just I just put a socket on those ones, and those two are finger tight, and the same on this end are finger tight as well. So that's interesting. All right, I'll keep removing bits. Bonuses. Look at that nice Torx bit in there, preventing the tensioner from doing its job. Hmm. Okay, video time. Cams are out. That's the uh, is it that's the intake side. Oh, yeah, intake side. Um, the cam itself. Where are we? Yeah. Got some scoring in the lobes, which is fair enough, considering the state of this shit. So that cam is rooted, which is fine. I wouldn't be using it anyway. If we look at these, oh, there we go. So that's supposed to be pressed into the head. But that's that's smashed, and they're all like that. Every single one on the intake side smashed off. So that's interesting. All right, got all the rockers off. Gives you a better view of the, the carnage. Can't really see. Let's have a look. Oh, here was a good one. Mmm, chunky bits. Oh, yeah. Nice. Right, new day, new progress. My little Ryobi wasn't up for the uh, job of cracking these head bolts. I think it might be time to step up to a nice Milwaukee 18 volt impact. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, we know you're better. So much better. Alright, these are the head bolts. These are serious head bolts. But got all of those loose. Heads off. I'll pull this and clean it up a little bit, but it doesn't seem to be any pitting or damage or anything where the valves would have hit. But I'll, I'll have to clean that up first before it really, really shows anything. Here's the head. No marks on the actual valves themselves that impacted and smashed the head. That head casting is really weak, but I'm guessing it's sacrificial to try and save the, to save the pistons when this happens. The minimum amount of material to do the job. One thing I did find interesting, and um, I'm going to need a tool to show this. Let me just grab a, I'll grab a ruler. It's a flat edge of some kind. You can feel it, but it might not show that well. 
on the head right here there's a huge lump just here it sticks right out massive like very noticeable only there the rest of it seems seems pretty flat so that head is knackered well, obviously it's knackered but I mean even if the the lifter guides hadn't been smashed out there's something seriously wrong here the fact that it's working fine is very unusual but let me know if any of you guys have seen anything like that on t52 heads it's right in line with that that exhaust stud but I don't think that's what's caused it right I'll just look back over here that's here where that lump would have been hole there so in line with that hole the head sort of sunk it into that gap maybe an overheat I don't know this had nearly 400,000 k's on this engine I didn't have any trouble with it but you, know, you never know I'm wondering if there's also one sort of in line with some of these other coolant passages and stuff so that shit in there Who's that thing? How are you? Something soft in there. O ring of some kind. Oh, yeah. Whatever that is. No idea what that could have been from. Welsh plug or something. Yeah, all right. That's travelled around the uh, cooling system from somewhere, I'd say. Yeah, all right. I'll do some cleaning and have a further look. Okay, got it apart. I've, I don't have the right chemicals and stuff to clean these pistons, but I've just cleaned a couple of the intake valves. It's just carbon. There's no marks at all. It's hard to believe me, I'm sure, but... It's just carbon build up. This one over here is a bit easier to, to see. So I'll just clean those up a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no. That's just carbon catching there. Tough piston. Well, fair enough. Also separated the transmission. I don't know if that's going to be any use as a spare for me. It was banging a little bit, so I think the valve body needs work, but I imagine they're different for the diesel and the petrol engine, so I'll have to do my research. This just comes off. This is the, the TCM. So I'm do these three bolts, and there's a plug underneath, and it just lifts straight off. So assuming the inner guts of the transmission are the same, I might be able to put a new valve body in here and put it in my car. I've seen it as a company in the States that, that shim those valve bodies to make it perform a lot better. So that might be an option. If I can get this bloody shaft out too, that'd be nice. But it's a fight for another day. Yeah. Plenty of shit left over. I imagine that's different as well. So that's the front, I don't know if they call it a transfer case or a, a front diff. But I imagine that's got the same ratio as the rear, which is over there. And that's 256 to 1, I believe. I have no idea what the ratio is in the T6 car. I didn't look before I put it in. I put it in as a whole. So I imagine that one over there has the same ratio as that one, which would make sense because the, the rear shaft always runs. It would have to be the same. But, yeah... There is a noise coming from the one in the T6. I don't know if it's that diff or if it's the other one. So I'll have to look at that. But yeah, that's a fun adventure. Now I've got a heap of scrap metal. Unless anybody wants anything here. If you want something, shout out. Because it's going to go to the scrap if you don't. Because I can't be bothered storing this shit. The only thing that might be worth money in my opinion is that AC compressor works perfectly. 
those tur turbos were working okay. There's a little bit of play in the top one, but that might be normal for a push style turbo. Right, let me know.